Ace had a pretty strange run uh, since the convention. You would think that we ought to be focusing on Hillary Clinton on all of her deficiencies. She is such a weak candidate that one would think we'd be on offense against Hillary Clinton. And it is distressing that that's not what we're talking about these days. What do you think? Well, over the last two days, that's exactly where we've been focused. And we're, in fact, we're in Wisconsin tonight. And uh, we'll be talking about uh, you know, Hillary Clinton's failed economic policies and, and promoting uh, our tax plan that we'll be talking can, about. Can you explain case. to our audience who might be a little confused and confounded about the relationship between Trump and Paul Ryan or some other Republicans, what's the rub there? Well, first of all, the Republican Party is united. Uh, and you know, the, 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 do we agree on everything? No. Uh, you know, Mr. Trump is an outsider. He hasn't been a part of the political system. So his relationships with the leadership of the party are not as deep and long as traditionally it would be with a Republican nominee. But that's not to say he, hasn't, he doesn't have good relations. We're working very strongly with our Reince Priebus and the RNC and with the Republican leadership in the House and the Senate. I think you'll see a coming together of both Paul Ryan, Mitch McConnell, and Donald Trump in the course of this campaign because they all agree on one thing. We need a Republican president and a Republican Congress, and then we'll make the changes that America needs. You deal with message a lot, too. Carl Rove wrote this in the Wall Street Journal yesterday on screen. Rather than fighting with the cons, he could have seized on Friday's lousy GDP report to explain how a Trump White House would result in more jobs, bigger paychecks, and greater prosperity. Instead of grousing about debate schedules Sunday and attacking fire marshals, Mr. Trump could have responded to Mrs. Clinton's interview with Chris Wallace on Fox News, where she continued lying about her private email server. End quote. It goes on. Um, is that too conventional for well, a Donald Trump campaign? Well, first of all, we are talking about those things. Uh, we're not getting covered on all of those things, but we are talking about those things. And we'll be talking about them again today. Because that's kind of what a politician would do. And I, I know Trump would say, I'm not a politician. Well, he's not a politician. He's a change agent. And, uh, and he, but he's talking about the fact that the economic policies of Obama and Clinton have put America in a stagnant position. He's also talking about the leadership uh, uh, that is needed for the U.S. to reassert itself in the world, or else we're going to have even a more chaotic situation. And he is pointing out that ISIS arose directly as a result of policies that Clinton was the architect of, his Secretary of State. And so terrorism in the world today, the instability of the world today, is directly related to, can go right to her doorstep. He is talking about those issues. As the campaign progresses, that will become more and more apparent. And as people focus, we are confident that these polls of today, which are a bounce from the convention, okay. will melt away. A la a bounce from the convention a at a fill in the DNC. Yes, will, will melt away. Uh, last point. Rudy Giuliani said you get bad weeks and you get good weeks. How would you rate this past week? An improving week.